Hey everybody, so I just wanted to quickly show you how you can blur out part of a video uh, to cover something up in that video, protect someone's identity, hide tattoos, or any identifying marks that may um, lead people to know who is in that video or uh, the identity of the person in a particular clip. So to do this, I'm just gonna use Kapoing Studio. First, I'll copy the URL to this tweet here that has the video I wanna cover up. Uh, this is from a protest in Washington, DC. Then I'll go to kapoing.com slash studio and click get started. I'll just paste the link to that tweet right here into the studio. And you'll see here in a sec, it's gonna pull that video right in. Okay, so once that clip is in Kapoing here, I'm just gonna remove the extra padding and then I'm going to copy the clip. So I'm just doing command C and then pasting. And I have a second layer of that video here. And now I'm going to click the adjust button here on the right side and you'll see this blur bar down here. So I'm gonna turn the blur up until I can't really make out the details of what's going on in the video. If I scrub ahead here, you can see what happens. So there's two people in this video, their faces are now completely blurred out. You can go really extreme with it until you can't see anything or you can go lighter until you, know, you can kind of make out that it's people. I'll keep it at like a 10 here. Then I'll click done adjusting. So now I have my blurry layer right on top of my original video. So this is uh, probably the only complex part about this. I now wanna crop this down to just the part of the video that I'm trying to obscure. So here I see, it looks like for the majority of the video, these two people are gonna be about in this size frame. Uh, there might be a moment or two though where there I see his face came out. So I'm just gonna stretch that all the way to the top and I'm basically just gonna blur this entire half of the screen. So I will click done cropping and then I can stretch this out to be about half of the screen. And now I'll click play and all of the identifying factors from the two people in this protest video should be obscured, let's see. So I may want to stretch it a little further over. And there we have it. It looks like these people are now blurred out for the duration of this entire video. There's not gonna be any identifying factors that um, can be used against them later, and they are gonna be totally obscured here. So when we're done, we'll just click publish, and Kapwing will go ahead and piece that video together for you so you have a new video that blurs out the um, people whose identity you'd like to protect.